Hi there, Sage Candy of VO2 Max Productions here on Cinco de Mayo 2015 here in Chautauqua Park in Boulder, Colorado, elevation 5,600 feet. Usually there's a beautiful view of the Flatirons behind me. I'll post a picture up there so you can see what it usually looks like. But it's a cold jury day here in Boulder. Uh, I'm doing a workout today, one of my staple workouts. I do this for a lot of ultras to gain elevation, climbing ability. It's basically an up tempo slash tempo uh, net uphill run. And this one we're going to go all the way up Flagstaff Road to the top. Uh, at least where it peaks out. Um, it's a five mile climb and uh, 2,000 feet of vertical gain. Uh, goes up to 7,600 feet. And I'm in preparation now for comrades. I really want to get my vertical climbing legs back and get into ultra mode and uh, train for the comrades ultra marathon, which is coming up in three and a half weeks. Uh, we're about two weeks after Boston here. So I'm just getting my legs back, trying to get my mileage up, get my strength up, because Comrades is the most competitive ultramarathon in the world, and it's the largest ultramarathon in the world. It's gonna be a net uphill year, 54 miles, uh, I think well over 2,000 feet of climbing in that net uphill with big rollers. So really have to be on edge, have to be able to climb well at Comrades. Uh, 54 miles with 18,000 runners, it's also the largest ultramarathon in the world, It's no joke. So uh, really looking forward to that, and uh, yeah, just trying to get my legs back. But. Uh, this road section is great because it averages about 8% grade overall. It kicks up over 15% grade in some spots. But again, it's five miles. It's a pretty long up-tempo to tempo run. I usually do it too hard, get into lactate threshold zone. I got my heart rate monitor on. My Strava record on this is 35 minutes and 15 seconds. Probably won't hit that today, especially with the, the weather like this. So got my Hoka jacket on and uh, Clifton's. Try not to get hit by a car, but uh, let's see. Uh, where the pain ends up today, I usually about three or four miles in, I'm really suffering and I just want to keel over and stop and, and walk and cry because uh, my legs are failing me. But it's a good muscular strength building, good uh, running economy on this inclined plane. And it, it works the heart and lungs like no other. So let's do it. All right, starting at the crosswalk at Chautauqua Park here. Five miles, here we go. Everything hurts. Uh, not climbing all day. Uh, hurt. That hurt. So uh, 37.07. It's a good 
almost two minutes slower than my best on that route. So tough pill to swallow, but you know, it's, it, it's a good indicator of what I expected actually. I don't have my climbing mountain legs back on me. After doing specific road marathon training, even for relatively hilly road marathons like Boston and LA, I just didn't do any major vertical hill repeats or running up in the mountains like I did before like uh, the mountain running last year. So I've lost my climbing ability, but I'll get it back. Um, there's a real discrepancy we see between my skeletal muscular system, my leg muscles, versus my cardiovascular system, my heart and lungs. And we'll touch on this again in our Sage Running book, The Sage Running Secret Guide to Speedy Ultras, about how these two systems work together. And so what I saw with the heart rate data, as I was running very painfully, was uh, that, that's the way. My heart rate actually was pretty low. It started dropping in the low 160s. So way below lactate threshold, even around up-tempo intensity. Uh, but I was hurting really bad because my muscles was, were failing. I, I was, felt like they were locking up my legs or I didn't have the climbing ability. So specific demands uh, require specific training and we'll touch on that in our Sage Running book. Available on our website, sagerunning.com. You could get a pre-order in there for the ebook. Uh, it's gonna be released officially in June, uh, later this summer, but you could sign up for the pre-order on there so you can check it out. Talk about all sorts of training from marathon to 100 miles, all different events. So uh, thanks again for, for watching, following along in the OTQ series. I'm not going to give up yet. I will try again in the fall probably for road marathon, Olympic trials qualifier. Uh, right now it's ultra mode. It's comrades coming up. And uh, thanks again for following along with these workouts. Sandy and I uh, are pretty swamped with work. Coming up, we're doing another exciting video project that we're going to be work on, working on. So there probably won't be any more of these actual workout videos until after comrades. but. Uh, we are going to continue with some training talks and uh, we'll stay, uh, keep you tuned with the uh, video project that we're going to release also that we've been working hard on. So thanks to Sandy for filming uh, Running Wild to Believe's her YouTube channel. Subscribe there too and uh, stay tuned for more Video2Max Productions.